Okay, we are going to draw the conical wood. So first we'll draw the cone. Is it truncated? We'll draw the cone with the cut. Then from there, we'll show how we are going to use the radial line method to draw the development. So the diameter in the base, I take 45, I take 45, this is the radius, so In the meantime, I also draw the semicircle, which is always help us to subdivide so that we can. So this is the base of the con. Right. Now the height. I'll take seventy. So uh, we are going to draw, we said that this is a truncated, I'm going to draw now the cut, I take a radius of 35. So this is the cut, and the other cut, I'll measure. From the apex, So this is our cone, we have one cut here with a radius and we have another cut here. Now let's subdivide. Our semicircle. This is one, two, three, four, five, 
six and seven. So we project the line first to the base. Now from here, we'll join them to the apex, which is O. Okay, now we have other points which are very important on the cut. We have, this is the cut here. We have this point here that projected down here. We call it X. This is our X. Then we have this, okay, let's say if we call this one here, we call H, this point here we call it G, and this one we call it Z. Now we join from O to J, we'll have a point here. From O to G. it to the semicircumference okay so we have well, the first one for the uh, bottom cut we have X the top cut we have y so x is closer to 4 and y to uh, 5 okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to we have everything that we needed before that um, we are going to draw parallel lines on I mean, yes, parallel to the base on the bottom cut to O7 because O7 is the face of the cone, which is the true length. So we project all of them there. So we can see 
uh, the cut this is the line of the cut is with 07 06 05 and oy now the first one here it called is a b c d and the other point here when we, pro we project in here we call it e so e and seven the coincide all right now we'll do the same on this cut here you see this line uh is a cut also cut 07 here uh, on h then we'll cut 06 here we'll cut 05 here and on j so we have between h and j we have two intersections six and five so we also project them we have h then we have this one there and uh, we project them yeah so we have h here we have this so we call it what um f, f f and this let me call it uh, j we call it j f d h f j these are the intersection with the vertical then we have z and g if we can they are on the same line if we can project them this side you see now g g will be here g will be there now why did i project i project them all of them on the um, face of our cone because this line is the true length so that from here i just draw the arcs and this axe will inter intersect with one two three four five six seven because you see one to one to seven they have that projection up to o and throughout the projection is where the intersect with the cut okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to do we take the true length which is o seven so this is oh, oh seven this is the true length Now on this true length, let me check first. Yes. Yeah, on this true length, I'm going to take this distance here, go to seven. Okay, if I say I want our development to start here. Then I'll mark off. Okay, let me first check. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So F. Okay. 
now I'll join the fragile lines So what I'll do is, uh, let's start with the top, H is with 7, F with 6, J with 5. Now before that we need X and Y, you see X and Y is between 5 and, uh, and 4. So to take them uh, from 4. From 4, I take X. From 4, I take X. From 2, 5, I have my X here. Here again, 4 to 5, I have my X here. So this is X. And this is X. Now, 5 to Y. Now from five, F my way. F my way. So this is why. This is why. Now I join them. Now, uh, H is with 7, so see F, H, G, I'll draw the X, then I'll join them. See H, yeah, this is H, then I have F then F G J 
antenna FG. So you see that, I will show you, you see this G is the same as Z here. You see Z and G is the same. Uh, they've got the same radius. All right, so uh, H is with seven, H is with seven, F is with H with seven, F with six, J with five, five then we have G G here so G is with Y where is Y Y is here G is with Y that G is with Y okay then again G is with four three two one on the same line four three two one four three two one okay now we are going to do it here is on the circumference Let's just let go from this the second the semi on this yeah me second it's the radius there and on the second phrase the second So this is the top. Now let's see. Go down to the bottom. See A is with seven, B with six, C with five, D with Y. Then you have E is with X. We start with A. This A will be with seven, then B will be will match with six, then have C. C will match with five, then D will match with Y. before I and E you match with X now we start A with 7 A with 7 B with 6 C with 5 D with Y And E is with X. So we have our point. We can join them.
this three. Yeah, it's supposed to go down and come up here. I think it's because of the ruler. My ruler is shaking. So yeah. Here we go. Conference. The, the big one. Almost done. So you use the table to, to, to try to make it better. It's much, much, much easier. I just want to make it thick. So from G here to here, you go up to here, you have it. it goes like this, goes like that, goes like this, that. So this is the development of our drawing. This is the development of our uh, conical hood, right? Thank you.